are you looking to link submissions to existing records, but without disclosing, for example, the whole list of existing customers. In this video, we'll show you how to use fillout to create submissions with securely hidden linked fields. Stick around. Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated, and on this channel, we help you save time and money by automating your business workflows. If you are new here, consider subscribing to get the latest updates or even joining our channel to get a wide range of membership-only perks. There are many use cases where you would like to have submissions into your Airtable that link to existing linked records from another table, like for example, new tasks that link to a customer. You can see that, for example, in our read-only portal that we shared in the previous video, here we have a, a button that opens Airtable form to submit new tasks for that specific customer. So if we would be using Airtable forms for that, you will often see drop down over here and it is not sometimes um, advisable to be disclosing other customers or other records that you might have over here because you might not want other customers to know what is the specific customers that you're working here. There are some privacy data considerations here. There is a way how you could do this inside of Airtable and this is being done quite often by using the prefill field over here and using the value height underscore the name of the field. But while this looks okay, this is a major security flaw because you can remove this information over here and retype it one more time and you will see that you are actually getting pre-filled information with this customer being visible over here. So the moment you unlink this customer, you will see this drop down menu again. So yes, you could use the prefill underscore the field name and the record ID to prefill this specific field and then use hide underscore field name equal true to hide this specific field, but this will not be a secure thing and people can very easily check that. In our case, we're using fillout to make those submissions in a way that this is not visible and not detectable for, for anyone. So I'll show you how to set up fillout. Fillout is a great form builder, which is free up to 1000 responses. So it's a, it's a very generous free tier. And I will show you how to build this form from the scratch so that you can get those IDs pre-filled directly from inside of Airtable. So you will see that you are able to click on the link that is dedicated to a customer and have a form that is customized for this specific customer. So let's build this directly from scratch in fillout. So we will go into fillout and create make a new fillout. We'll use Airtable as the data source. We already have our connection over here. And right now we're gonna select the base agency portal and the task table, because we are going to be creating new tasks for our customers. All right, so we have an empty form. Let's give it a title. And here you will see, we'll very qu quickly create the task name, the description. We'll make the task name and the description mandatory. And from the other fields that are available from Airtable, we will select the task category. So. Now we have a submission form, but it's not linked to the customer. So the way we will link it to the customer will be following. So we'll add the customer field, but we don't want to have this field to be visible. So we're gonna change the visibility inside of the logic to hide always. And now we will add a default value to pre-fill this field. But before we can do this over here, we need to go to settings and add a URL parameter. So in this case, this would be the parameter that you can see here inside of the URL. So I'm just going to copy this record over here for reference. And you will see that here I will add the parameter name ID and I will use optional value because it makes it easier for us to see how this will look like. So I will add this specific optional sample value over here. And now we have created a new URL parameter inside of settings over here. Once this is done, you can go back to the editing. And now when you will go to the default value, instead of hard coding default value, you can actually add a reference and here on the side, you will see URL parameters and you can pick URL parameter and you will see that this got directly populated as example with the record that I have provided as a sample. Having set up this, you can actually add some additional fun tricks over here. So for example, you can use at references and because we have this customer linked over here, we can actually look up information from this customer over here and you could, for example, use the company name 
and this will be the information based on this specific record. We can see the preview over here. Hello Team Visionary Adventures, and you will see that this is directly linked to them. So now let's exit the preview. Let's publish this record. And now here on the side, once we copy the, the form link, we would have to go back to our array table and create this column over here. And you will see that the link that I have copied actually contains like this default value that we have provided as a sample. But in our case, we will just wrap the URL inside of quotation marks and then add an ampersand and we'll type record ID, close the brackets, and this will automatically generate the record ID for every single field. So let's open a couple of them and see how it works. All right. And you can see that we have customized forms for every customer over here. And the moment we submit it, this form is already linked to that specific customer. All right. I hope this was useful for you guys and good luck automating your business. Mm -hmm.